everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to import in AutoCAD, in my case 2021, to import a PDF object. So let's get started. First of all, I want to say that you have two options and I will show you in this, in this video why one of those two options is better. So the first option, go in the insert menu and you'll have here PDF underlay. And I will select, for example, this PDF. Here you don't have too much specify, too much commands that you must click. You'll go just with attach and you'll search for a point. And as you see, you don't have a regular scale. It's up to you how much, how bigger you want to be. But the bad part here is that you cannot select nothing and it's not even a hatch. It's a PDF underlay. So even if you want to go with the explode command, so I'll type X, select everything, enter. It's useless. You cannot select that. So this is why I, I cannot recommend to you to use this command. But first thing first, go with units, type un and make sure it's on the units that you actually need. For example, I, I don't need architectural. I don't want inches. I want decimals because I want centimeters. Go with every precision that you want. It's up to you. International or American. It depends of your country and centimeters. Type OK. Now, the actual command that I recommend to you is the import command. So go with the import, select a PDF. Now here, as you can see, you have all files, PDF files and SAT files. Because I said now it's the time for the PDF. So go with open. And here you have a bunch of options. First of all, specify intersection point of a screen. If you have checked this command, you will put this drawing in a in a specific point that you want on the screen then you have scale and rotation in my case look here i have the page size so the original size of the page it's a a3 that was exported and the pdf scale it's 25.4 at one so if i want to be the exactly size the exactly conditions that this drawing was exported previous i must type here this scale so 25.4 rotation in this case i don't need it i need just like this to be vector geometry must be checked solid uh, solid files must be checked when you have circles rectangles or other or other blocks i mean to be uh, elements that are just one thing not uh, not are divided in many parts true type text you will use it uh, if you want to be the exactly type of the text that is here for example times new roman Arial, and so on uh, raster images are available when you have an image with a lot of pixels a lot of details so you don't want to lose no detail after that we have the layers so you have three options here use pdf layer so to use the original layers like i want other option create object layers so you will create some new layers. So I recommend you to not do this and the current layer. So let's say I, I will check it. I will um, make it available. And now when I will export it, all these lines, it will be converted in my layer that is active right now. So I want the original layers. After that, import as a block. I want to have access to every single line or detail at this drawing. So I want not to be a block okay i can i can check it and i can explode after it but i don't want after that join line and arc and arc segments i want to have access to every line and every arch at this drawing so i will check it as well convert solid files to hatches if i will have a hatch here it will be much much easier if i will have this checked because it will took me like a regular hatch and not like something else for example a bunch of lines instead of a hatch apply lines weight properties if i will have here a thicker line it will automatically appear to me also thicker here infer line types from collinear dashes here it will make another types of lines and i want as i said to you before just the original so i'll press ok select where you want to be and here it is compared to the other command from here uh, pdf underlay now if i will select i will have all the elements that i want for example this is a plan for a pipe system with water and stuff like this and now i want to show to you something 
this is a Romanian writing, for example, but doesn't matter. Here, if I want to select a write, you will see it's selected not like a text, it's selected like a drawing. For example, this part of the letter air. So I don't want it. For this, I have a command for you. Type like this, PDF SHX text. And here you have two options, select object or settings. Select the object, so select those two uh, texts, press enter. And here you'll have a one of one group of select geometry was converted to text. So automatically these are text now, just press close. And now when I will select this text, it will automatically be a text, except of this because I didn't select it. But here is the same situation. Now the program can see it as a text. You see, I can modify, I can do whatever I want. Okay. In the other side, it's the same thing. But let's say now I will import again. So don't forget the command import and I will go with the second PDF. And here I have also the same options 25, 25.4. But here, as you see, it's the wrong page. Usually it must be landscape, but for this time it was plotted incorrectly and it is a portrait. So I will type here rotation 90. The same and the rest of the commands are the same. Press OK and automatically, as you see, it's a landscape. Here was a little bug, but doesn't matter. So here is my drawing. OK, now just copy it for two times and I will explain later why. So copy, let's say I will put it right here, for instance. And now this is not actually on a good scale because as I said to you, I put the units in centimeters. This is a plan for a gas system, but doesn't matter. So here is an exterior door, for example. Now I want here to be an exterior door, but to be on a distance and this door must be 90 units. So let's measure it first of all, measure geom, type D from distance and go here to here. And you will see that this distance is 9.906 units and this door must be at 90. So we have two options here. I will go with the calculator. So press 90 like the real dimension of the door divided by 9.906 and this is the factor that we want to scale or we must scale actually so 9.085 okay now go with the scale command it's nothing too spectacular press enter select base point and fact and now type the factor scale 9.085 it was i'm not sure and here it is we have we scaled it and now let's measure it again measure john d from distance you can also use the dimension command and yeah almost perfect i must write more numbers but you get the idea you get how it works another way even easier so i have the same drawing the same distance 9.906 um, now go again with scale select everything okay select the base point and now instead of specify scale factor go with reference and now select the element that you need in my case the door select it okay and specify new length so here you'll type 90 because you want to be at 90 and here it is now it's exactly in the dimension that you need. Let's measure it to be sure. So a door with 90 units. But I must show you something. Here we have another drawing, another text actually. Type on it and you see I found it as a hatch. This is bad because I need it as a text. In this case I will try to do it again but pay attention because it will not convert it because it is a hatch. So PDF SHX text, like I do it before, select this and enter. And as you see, the selected geometry was not converted to text. No font was found 
that met the recognition their holes so in other words you cannot convert it because it is a hedge so sometimes you cannot convert all the writing all the text but for example in this case in the previous case here i have text that you can type it you can write it is not a matter here is the same situation it is a drawing but if you will type the command pdf shx text go with this enter it's converted perfectly so convert it to text and now when i will click on it it is a text i can modify i can edit it so i can do whatever i want in other words i have a little hack from you in my case it doesn't work but keep it in mind if you will type pdf so the same command pdf shx text don't go with select object type settings and automatically you will have a bunch of settings here when you will for the first time when you will open it your uh, window will look like this kind of like this because actually like this but here as you see convert to text when matches so when the text is almost 100 percent it will match and i don't need it i must to be as lower as possible for this version of autocad i cannot go lower than 50 percent but if you if you can go lower like 20 or 30 percent it's nothing bad and here select all these types of text because it will be you will be more covered because you will have access to all this kind of text so you can find a text and convert it not to be a drawing you have a bunch of options you have more options and it's much much better press ok and you can try again but in my case i know that i have no chance but let's say i will simulate again so pdf shx text select enter and it's the same thing because uh, this is a too big hatch to be converted as a text but you should definitely try with other text as well i hope this video helped you as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time